Hey there, Expo and Juice fans. This is Dr. Expo, and we're doing a current TARDIS slash apartment walkthrough. So here we go, Dr. Expo in the future. Hey there, everyone. This is my Dr. Expo TARDIS video. This is the entrance to the TARDIS. This door will be custom built with a decal of the TARDIS, and there's my fob. This will also be 3D and designed custom built with the door that is currently on it. It'll be a custom built door. I hope you enjoy. Hey there, Exponential fans. This is where I do my laundry, dryer, washer, and these are basically where my clothes are cleaned. The main heart of the house is behind you there, and the water tanks are behind the camera right now, but we're not going to show that on camera because it's kind of boring and not important. But I hope you enjoy seeing where I do most of my laundry. Um, this is another step of the Dr. Arxwell uh, TARDIS walkthrough. There you go. And this is leading into my laundry room where I currently have my Christmas tree set up because it's not Christmas for instance and it's going to be fun seeing how this is built because I am planning to upgrade my Christmas tree and put it in the house someday permanently possibly if I can find a spot for it this is the Christmas tree and over here is where the fire extinguisher stuff is and just a little bit of glitch out here this is my laundry room where I do most of my laundry actually all of my laundry there's the laundry dryer and the washer and here's the settings that I can use for my washer and dryer. Yeah. There's the sink. There's the wash dryer. And this is my housemate's cards. I thought I'd take a video of this because I found it really quite interesting that he likes cars so much. And this is an interesting factor around that he has so many cars. There's the old dresser I had in my OG years. And then the hot water tanks. This is also where I have also my electronics for my house. This is where I do most of, well not I do, but where the electricity is blown. And there's the salt for our diffuser. This is also it. Thank you very much. Hey there guys, so this is my hallway leading to bedroom, bathroom, and living room, or console room, chambers, and bathing chambers. So I hope you enjoyed these B-rolls. See you around. And leading in here is the hallway to my living room and bedroom and bathroom. This is the hallway entrance door to the TARDIS. I will not show the uh, actual entrance because I don't want to get people knocking on my door asking for signatures. Um, this is where my bat flake, my Assassin's Creed, and my ornaments that I prize on take and stay and this is also where I keep most of my non precious collectibles like my Avengers, my Doctor Who plushie and some of my other stuff like my like uh, my tracer figurines sitting on top of PS1 with Stella Luna behind it one of the books I grew up reading something for nothing is behind is in front behind Assassin's Creed and these are some other collectibles this is also where I Go where I get my have my family signatures and I do plan to put a photo of all my families these are some of my collectible photos from when I was at Fan Expo that's Riverson and Matt Smith and Missy the master and this is the cane I no longer use because it is damaged this is the door leading to the bedroom or as I call it the chambers this is the chambers. This door will be custom built to have a vault door looking style to it. This is some of my collectibles and my canes or staffs as I call them as I found them on my travels. This is bigger on the inside. This is a doormat I leave for my staff to walk on. This door here will have custom built will have decals on the back of it and these are the speakers to my my bed my chambers. This is my bathroom door. I only have one thing. I am thinking of putting a glass stained uh, decal on there to kind of give it. This is also my long claw sword and House of Stark banner. This door here will be custom built to be a TARDIS door. 
because I figured why not have a custom TARDIS store if you're going to have a TARDIS. So this will be cut, torn down and the decals will be repurposed. There's my Titanic poster with my Welcome to Expo Industries and Dr. Expo. My Sonic guitar and lightsaber. And I hope you enjoyed this. Hey Thank guys, you. this is the bathing chambers. There's a lot of work that's going in here. We'll see you in the B-roll. It's Dr. Expo out. Oh. Hey guys, this is the chambers, or aka my bedroom, where I sleep and I change my clothes. Hope you enjoy the B-roll. See you around. And this door will lead to my chambers, which is my bedroom. This is all the years of Fan Expo I have gone to. I have a first signature from us, from Scott. I forget his na last name. This is all the years of Fan Expo I have gone to. 25 years was 2019. And I was as old as Fan Expo. This is behind my door where I have my ironing board. And some of my family photos and Fan Expo photos that didn't make it into the cut into some of the uh, the wall of memories. This is another wall of memories with some of my m memories of Fan Expo and other things that I can't have frames for. This is my think before running picture that my mentor actually made for me. This is also my where I keep some of the articles that my family and friends have cut out for me. And there is a picture of Mary and me before COVID. Uh, this is also my my dresser, which apparently I didn't get a good shot of. This is the TARDIS. I do plan to get rid of this and have custom shelving for my wardrobe banked out of my closet, which you'll see in a moment. This is also where I keep my Halloween sword, because I have nowhere else to put it. This is the wardrobe. I do plan to take these doors down and custom build them to bank out of the just that area to have. These are some photos I had that actually made it onto the wall. This is a, a photo of some wolves. This is also handles the direwolf head. Careful he bites. He is a direwolf head. Um, and then we have some other pictures of my adventures with Fan Expo, my grandpa. Some other Fan Expo photos that I have taken with celebrities. My old extended family photos, which you will see the current extended family in the other room or other part of the chambers. This is also my where I keep most of my memories of my foster family and our adventures because they are very important to me. This is where I keep my alchemic table and my dresser where I keep most of my clothes. My clo coats of where I want to wear them. These are pictures. I'm not going to list them all off because there's so many and I believe this would just be an impossibly long video if I had done all the video um, talks about each photo. Some of them are past family members. Some of them are ex adventures I've gone on. Some of them are fan exo photos and some of them are friends from way beyond time. This is where my cat Figaro sleeps. He is now passed. He is a black cat in that picture. These are where some of my photos for my extended family live. My pet Willie. Yes, I still sleep with a whale even though it's I'm uh, 27 years old. It's just a whale I grew up with and never chose to get rid of. This fireplace I do plan to upgrade because I find it will be more easier to use when it is better and not so broken because that light on that fireplace, that's why the TV is playing a fire because the fireplace is actually damaged. And I do plan to put a uh, Google Home behind it. And these are my t Time War books. This is where Seattle sleeps because he is now gone and bless his, his heart. And these are my Sonics, my other Doctor Who collectibles, and the collection of C DVDs I have for Doctor Who. And then right here is, I believe, my Twilight collection. And then this is where the extended family is. I tried to activate the TARDIS, but it didn't work, so that's not going to work very well. Um, yeah. And then we have the Karen Glenna signature of Amelia Pond. So my extended family. 
and blood family. AKA biological family. And then right here is where I plan to put a glass cabinet like the one you saw where Figaro is staying, but it's going to be three shelves where Seattle will be. And then we have a picture of all my collectibles of Tom Baker and some Ruby Mint condition figurines and some Star Wars. We also have my Ruby collection of Blu-rays. My Marvel MCU collection. And some miscellaneous photos of different timelines that I have been in. My pet Reba right there. She's now gone. My mint condition ruby figurines. This is all mint condition ruby figurines. And I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of my bedroom. Please stick around for more as there's more to see in the TARDIS. Thank you. Hey guys, I thought I'd give another shot from here. Just giving how deep my chambers is. Hope you enjoy. See you around. Hey there guys, this is the console room, aka living room, council chambers, depending what you want to call it. This is where most of my my supports come to help me out and stay and play some video games, help me edit, help me do b-roll different things. We actually have the whole expo labs right behind you and the, also I do my cooking here too because the kitchen is right off to my left or right. I hope you enjoy this. See you around. To show you Expo Labs, which is the heart of Expo Industries, where the brains and soul of Expo Industries comes from. This TV will soon be going above the desk. The two webcams are actually for Zoom calls, so that I can get different angles on my when I'm doing a dance class or doing some other stuff on that I need to be more active with the room. And this is my trusty mic that I have. I it's a brand new upgrade, the MacBook Air. And I am absolutely jaw dropped at how thin this Apple keyboard is. And I'm so proud to say that Exo Labs and Exo Industries will be built very soon and masterpiece with this system here, which I have come to call Ghost. So if you like this video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll also show you a bit more of the TARDIS, which is going to be the kitchen. And I'm actually going to show you my seating area where I command most of my setup for the TV and this is where it's at for most sometimes my staff sit here sometimes I sit here it depends on the day I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you're liking the video so far and feel free to like comment subscribe and Dr. Axel out this is my council chambers or council room there this is my TV curve 55 inch my fireplace and there will be an entertainment unit going there that will be replacing the fireplace that was there this is also work in progress there's my Assassin's Creed and as we come along here we will see my Peter Capaldi photo that I got at Fan Expo 2020 and my Matt Smith photo and then my lightsabers and my Doctor Who collection. That's the topper there. And then there's my miscellaneous stuff. My Vic's, Vic signature, because he was the voice of Full Metal. There's Justin playing the guitar. And then we have my collectibles of Doctor Who. This is Doctor Who wall, as you may know. As we walk around here, we will show you many of the collectibles. That's a spray painted photo there of the TARDIS. And that's my magazine of Capaldi. And my custom picture of the doctors. This area here will have two glass cabinets that will eventually be able to hold the Dragon Ball figurines and Harry Potter figurines or collectibles by Noble Collections. Stay tuned for that video. This is my hand-drawn hand hand Gallifrey Falls No More drawing. And this is also my living room. 
this is Expo Labs here with Expo Industries on as I'm prepping to edit this video right now. I am filming just because I felt figured it would look like and that's ghost that's the ghost computer I plan to build, Ghost PC. Um, these are all my posters gifted by many people. Fan Expo and then this is gonna be my ghost PC and that's my Hogwarts setup and this is my ruby collection which is precious to me because ruby is very special to me and i have a connection with it with ozpin and crow there's all the signatures i've ever gotten of monty Ohm's grave and then we have some of the signatures as a close-up we also have the individual characters of Ruby in their individual forms. Uh, Ruby Weiss, Blake and Yang, and Lindsay Jones and Karen, Karen and I forget, Blake uh, and Barbara. There's the TARDIS license plate. And this TARDIS is actually getting upgraded very soon. And there is my Ruby collection of unboxed Ruby figurines. This is all Team Crime, Team Juniper, Team Ruby, and Ruby. These are some of my mint condition Ruby figurines. And here we have my Lazy Boy in a shot of Expo Industries, or Expo Labs, and my Ruby fit collection. We also have a close-up of my TARDIS, which will be upgraded very soon. The license plate right there I tried to get a close-up of. And we also have my collectible necklaces and and uh, and pins off to the side. We have my ruby tower, and this is also going to paint into that. Hey there, guys. This is where I make most of my meals. I make my coffee. I have my conventional oven because we're not. We're a small apartment, so we don't have permission to have a full oven. We do have a dishwasher here, Georgian Foreman air fryer blender, and some speakers up in here. And then this is also my, my fridge, where I keep most of the stuff cold, aka fridge. And then if you also follow me here, this really cool lamp has a secret to it. And it makes the sonic sounds, which is really cool. But yeah, so this is where I make most of my food and eat and drink and yeah, I hope you like this. This is the end of the video. Dr. Expo out. And as we pan into my kitchen, this is Ruby Tower. This is my collectible tower with my lightsabers on top and Drunk Invader. I call him Drunk because he always wears a top hat and pretends to drink. These are some of my more precious collectibles like my Adam West for Ward signature and my Le Stephanie Meyer signature. Some of my Jessica Negri photos and signatures will be coming up soon. This is a Khaleesi photo. My Jessica Negri photo with signature. And there is my Jessica Negri photo. This is a sonic lamp that I demonstrated earlier before. And this is also my, where I keep my shoes. And that's the entrance that I come in and out of, but I will not be showing you outside it because I do not want people knowing where I live. This is also my tar my kitchen where I keep most of my food and most of my stickers on my whiteboard. I don't know why I did that. It just seems really interesting to keep them like that. So I have been using that. This is Dr. Expo before he became Dr. Expo. The inside is Dr. Expo. The outside is Dr. Expo before and after and then as we come up to here we try to do something funky with our camera but it tends to not work this is where we keep our Stanley signatures and photos or not photos but like our Stanley signature and our tattoo plan signature this is also where we cook our food our Georgia Foreman our air fryer and our blender which we seem to take a really quick close look at then we come back to here which we tried to do something funky again this is Matt Smith and Stanley signature
with our tattoo that we plan to get eventually on the top. Our Keurig and everything. And I hope you enjoyed this. This is also a close up of Exmo Industries and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you around. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.